Hi, my name is Rick Westerfield, and I'm the director of the Pacific Bach Project, which is presenting its debut concert at the Village Church on Saturday, April 13th, with music of Johann Sebastian Bach. And one of the things that people find very interesting about Bach is the extent to which he did all of these really interesting things with numbers as he was writing his music. For example, there's a piece called the St. Matthew Passion, which depicts the, act, the actions, the, the events of this weekend right now when I'm talking to you, which is Easter weekend. And there's a, there's a time at, during the Last Supper when Christ says to his disciples, one of you is going to betray me. Well, Bach sets that music. And he sets it this way with everybody with a reply. Everybody has a reply. Is it I? Is it I? Is it I? How many times do you think people say, is it I? 11 times, not 12, because one of the disciples is going to betray him. There's a time much later after Christ's death when the Roman general, the centurion, looks up and says, truly, this was the Son of God. Bach sets that in a very wonderful declamatory way, stating a chorale. But what's distinctive is if you look at the bass line and you count the number of notes in the bass line, wahrlich, dieser ist Gottes Sohn gewesen, truly, this was the Son of God, there are exactly 14 notes. Why is that interesting? Well, if you take Bach's name, B is the second letter in the alphabet, A is the first letter, C is the third, H is the eighth. You add those up, 14. So it's a way of Bach saying, I personally feel this was God's son. And you see this kind of numerology throughout so much of his music in the credo of the B minor mass, another major work of Bach's. Credo, you do the same thing. C, what, it's the third, R, E, D, O, the word I believe. If you add up all those letters, you get the number 43. Well, if you go into the credo of the B minor mass, it has this tune. Credo, inunum, deum. The standard old medieval chant. How many times do you think that is heard in this credo? 43 times. So it's like someone having to do something tremendously difficult, like create this incredibly complicated fugue, um, but is such a genius that they're able to do it within these added constraints. It's like asking a, a quarterback to throw a completed touchdown pass, but to do it exactly 43 yards long. So there's this incredible sophistication and complexity and genius woven into this music that nobody is going to pick up on. But it just shows the extent to which Bach cared so deeply about his craft and his art that he would embed it with all this kind of code and all this care.